It's the search for Britain's blooming best florist. Four local artisan florists from across the UK will be taking on floral design challenges designed to test their creativity and technical know-how. At the end, one will be crowned champion. Only about an hour and a bit left, so when I'm am fine. I going to see flower? In about 20 minutes, this will be made. Judging them are people who know flowers and style inside out. Florist to the stars, Simon Lysit. Interior designer, Eva Shanaike and Karen Barnes, an international weddings and events florist and top floristry judge. Does After look, look at this, yeah. does it look nice? Yeah, does it fit? Perfect. It's absolutely yes. stunning. They won't be the only ones judging. At the end of the show, you'll get a chance to have your say on Instagram. It's time to celebrate artisan floristry on the high street. Welcome to Interflora's Great British Bloom Off. Hello, my name's Erica. I'm from Bude, Blusian Florist. I have been a florist for about 15 years. I just want to be me, really. I, everything that I'm going to create today is based around what I love to do and what colours I love and what flowers I love and just want my personality to shine through. My name is Mike Soles. Um, I run Herbarium Florist in Aldridge. Literally every time you pick up flowers, that's what you do. Take the same old flowers that God created and make something different with them. My name's Charlotte Davis and I'm from a shop called Hillary's Floor Design in Abergavenny, South Wales. I love being a florist. Every day's different. Just making beautiful flowers and just, yeah, enjoying nature. Hi, I'm Jo Hornsby. Um, I own Daisy Chain Florist in Shepparton alongside my mum. All the varieties of the flowers I'm using today are hopefully going to wow the judges and just hopefully my personality is going to shine through in what I create today. Welcome florists to the first bloom off. Let's get straight to it and this week it's peonies. With over 2.8 million hashtags on Instagram, peonies really are the flowers of the season. Phenomenal florists, your challenge is to make the best of these beautiful blooms. We will be judging your creativity, your use of colour and your originality of your design and those all-important floristry techniques. You have 30 minutes to make peony perfection. Let the blooms begin. So we're going to be looking at some beautiful peonies. Mm. The most mm. amazing flowers. They are probably the most asked for flower from any of my clients. They yeah. just have that utter joy and appeal. And I think that's yes. partly because they're so seasonal. Whereas tulips are now available pretty much all the year. Oh, yeah. Peonies yeah. have such a finite time and yes. it's May peony time now. We're so lucky. We are. Lovely. And did you know the only colour that we can't get peonies in is blue? Oh really? So how many different types are there actually? Probably about eight or ten that are commercially uh, grown. Completely, aren't there, really? yes. Yeah. yes. Sarah Bernhardt's the one that everybody that recognises. Yes. That yes. sort of pink with the raspberry ripple effect. Yes. yes. What's your favourite one? My, I was going to say Sarah Bernhardt. It lends itself to all different types of arrangements, bridal bouquets, fantastic event work. It's just gorgeous, and it equally looks beautiful in the garden. Hello Charlotte. Hello Karen, okay? I'm fine, thanks. How are you? Yeah, good. I'm happy now I've like started getting flowers into the product and then trying to this looks my fabulous, I have to say. Very different with the fans. Yeah. So have you made this yourself? Yes. So I've just folded the paper or card um, and then attached it to the Oasis structure inside. So then I can attach my flowers. Pre-soaked it, wrapped it um, with a biodegradable cello just to keep yeah. the moisture in so it uh, stays away from keeping the cardboard. Yeah. You know, damp. Yeah, <laughs> you no one wants a damp fan. As a florist, you have to think ahead, haven't yeah, you? Yeah, I've got to think of all the um, different aspects. This looks as though it's been very well thought out. It looks really pretty. Thank you. I wish you lots of luck. Thank you. And just keep calm and do what you know keep the best. Keep calm and bloom on, isn't exactly. it? Exactly, yes. <laughs> bloom on. I'll see you later, Charlotte. Thank you, Karen. Hello, Jo. Hi, Simon. I'm super well. How are you? I'm good. Pretty nervous today. Tell me what you're creating. So, Peony Perfection. Mm -hmm. um, I've decided to use the Sarah Bernhardt, some Madame Taine. The white ones have got a lovely perfume. Amazing, them. isn't it? Um, and they open up all lovely and blousy. Yeah. And then I've got the uh, Alexandra Fleming. 
Yep. So um, peonies are always really hard to get perfect, perfect. They're either like bullets. They are, <laughs> but I think they're that one flower that you can give a little tiny cheeky little bit of assistance to. And they do smell amazing. I know. So what's been your inspiration for creating this design? Um, Greys and all the muted colours are really around at the moment. Mm -hmm. um, I love echeverias. I've decided to put them in here because yeah, they can great, be replanted. They? Yes. So I've literally wrapped them okay. and kept them in their soil. Yep. So whoever receives this bouquet would be able to replant them. Lovely. So it's a gift that we'll keep giving. Exactly. Um, and I've used the lovely grey Senecchio because Beautiful. I think that brings out the greys in the echeverias. And you've got a bit of eucalyptus in there and the as well. And the as well, so greys, so I'm sort of going greys and this beautiful country blues. They've, they've got a real British feel to them, peonies, so everyone's sort of trying to maybe stay at home and yes. when we can get British, it, it's a great thing to buy and to have in people's homes as well. And so. they shout summer, don't they? They do, absolutely. Yeah. So it'd be nice to get, maybe it'll bring out the sun today. Summer. And would it be the bunch that you would choose to give yourself? Yeah, definitely. Well, absolutely. I cannot wait to see it. Great. Good luck. Thank you See very you much. later. For today's event, I'm looking for creativity, for interior design, for the home, for texture, and most importantly, for color. Color is the essence of my work, and I really want to see the flowers and the bouquets which I produced today to enhance homes with color. Hello, Mike. Hi. How are you doing today? I'm fine, thank you. you? Great. What are you creating for us today? I absolutely love um, Sarah Bernhardt Peony, mm. which is a very soft pink. So I thought I'd just go completely out of my comfort zone Great. and That's go good. with hot colours, <laughs> which really I never do. I'm a, I'm a soft, tonal person. So I just thought, I just thought, well, I've just, I've got to be edgy. I totally agree. I mean, it's, it's an ideal interior uh, colour palette at the moment. It makes such a difference in a home to have a bunch of, especially colourful, bright um, flowers. And I think and I'm you've just... Gone, you've gone bright, you've gone the, bright yeah, and bold. In this it. is the new mic. Fantastic. My good luck with everything. I'm not going to leave you. I'm oh, gonna thank you so you. much. Yeah. See you later. Hello, Erica. <laughs> How are you? Very well, thank you. Very Good. well. How are you? I'm well, thank you. Tell Good. me, what are you creating? I am creating peony perfection of Ooh. these beautiful red charm peonies and just something quite soft and natural. And are peonies a flower that lots of your clients love as much as us? Yes, definitely. Peonies are one of the absolute favourites. Um, particularly in our wedding bouquets and bits and bobs, but yeah. And I just think that actually the red charm gets a little bit forgotten about. That's why I've used it. Everyone forgets about the red charm and to me it's beautiful. And you've teamed it with this gorgeous Astrantia yes. here, which is just a spot on, almost identical colour to it. Yeah. And one of my real favourites, the Tweedia, yes. which I love Oxypetalum. A lot of people are allergic to its sap, but this soft blue is a beautiful summery mm. colour. And what was your inspiration? creating it? Um, I just love creating things that I like in my style basically. Um, nothing's right or wrong. It's, 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 it's all a yeah. matter of taste and I think there are incredible creatives up and down the country working yeah. in flower shops all over that do incredible work yeah. and you're doing something really beautiful. Yeah. I can't wait to see it finish. Oh, thank you. Good luck. <laughs> thank see you, you later. <laughs> right Floris, five more minutes left. Forest, your time is up. Show us your peony perfection. So judges, what do we think to Charlotte's peony perfection? It's got some beautiful materials. Yes. It has a, a little bit of an art deco feel, don't yes. you think? I love that. I love the shape. I find it very playful and I'm thinking table. Yes. Um, yes. I, it's very unusual and I really like the, the also the, the dimension is almost like multi-dimensional. And because peonies are such a summer flower it's really shouting out to me. Yeah. I mean the little chamomile, these gorgeous buds 
that are coming in and the little campanula yes. flowers here as yeah, a contrast yes. are perfect to the yes. big blousy yes. peonies. Yes. It's very compact, but it also has that natural element, doesn't very it? Very natural. I feel it looks very natural, very, you know, kind of authentic. It's beautiful. Um, summer. It's very neat, okay. but has that natural look to it as, as well. So, judges, more peony perfection. What do we think? Absolutely fabulous. Stunning. I mean, this is just wow. It just has a, a real wow factor to it. Total wow factor, yes. You couldn't help but notice the peonies when walking in the room. I think so. I think it's a real centerpiece. I mean, in any yeah. home, they would just stand out and make a statement on its own. Yes. And it's so fragrant as well as I'm standing mm. here. I mean, Jo did sh say she was going to use the fragrant peonies and they are making mm. themselves noticed. Completely. Yes. And how clever to use the echeverias with that lovely colour and that pink tone just on the edges which goes beautifully with the varieties that Jo has chosen for the peonies. Just stunning. It feels vibrant and different, yet it's very, very yes. tonal and, yes. and sits really easily on the eye. Yes, it's Beautiful. easily on the eye, yes. Judges, what's your take on this? It's a carnival of colour, isn't it? Absolutely. Absolutely it is. It's got that very sort of hot, vibrant shades of the Cerisean coral pink. Yeah. It's got the blues, it's got this um, lovely orange and this lovely sort of almost, it's like a grass, isn't it? The feather grass I think is brilliant because it picks out the colour of the coral charm yes. peonies, but it, yes. peonies together with Newtons, together with the Kakumas could all start to look a bit hefty, yes. but because we've got this lovely wafty grass and one of my favourite foliages, yes. the foxtail fern, yes, the fox that stunning. is just such a lovely looseness. Yeah, and yes, I think the colours just speak for themselves. I love the, the blue-purple colour in there, which just gives it a little bit of an edge and gives it a yes. different direction. So it's got texture, it's got fragrance, and it's just got a vibrance about it. It's summer, it's pure summer, isn't it? It's like let's go. It's gorgeous. a summer party in a posy, it isn't is. it? Yes. <laughs> it is. So Erica's brought her peony perfection to us this morning with these beautiful natural foliages and the gorgeous colour of these peonies. Mm -hmm. They're magnificent, aren't they? Very rich and almost vibrant. But not quite. I like the almost vibrant. Almost vibrant. I know. I but know. it has something in it that makes you want to explore and have a look inside that beautiful hand tide. It's a fabulous exercise in texture. It's an exercise in using an assortment of seasonal plant material. I'm loving that little kick of the oxypetalum, that yes. tweedia with its blue that links mm. through to both the olive and the eucalyptus, yes. but still allows the dominance of the peonies. Absolutely. It has a feel of country, like almost like mm. a bit of a country feel. As though and it's just being gathered. Exactly. And, yes. the, exactly. and the peonies give it this kind of extra va va voom of every, extra Completely. magic. It's a beautiful botanical bunch. Yes. Couldn't have said it better myself, Simon. <laughs> The judges must now oh, score yes, each florist and decide a winner for However, this week's challenge. I'm worried that the use of additional materials yeah. swamp yeah. the peonies. I have liked to see them a bit more use of colour, yes. like some, yes. something, okay. something, something, something else. Okay. So. After much deliberation, we now have a winner. And the winner is... Jo! Oh. Jo, you really fulfilled the brief. Your peony perfection was just that. It's perfect. Colour, composition, perfect floristry technique. Well done. Jo, you created a wow piece. We absolutely loved what you're doing. The colours, as Simon said, the shape. You just wowed us. It's a beautiful piece. Thank you so much for inspiring us all. Well done. Wow, I'm just in shock. Um, I really wasn't expecting that. My other competitors are such great florists. Um, I'm, I'm really chuffed though. I just It's really boosted my confidence going to next week's challenge. Um, I'm just over the moon to be honest. I'm, I'm really, really chuffed. That's it for this week, but stay tuned. Next week it's all about romance. It's wedding week. Okay. You put me on the spot. I'm oh, well, I look now. forward to seeing what you create for Stacey and for the three of us. Do you agree with the judges? 
Have your say on Instagram and you could win a one-of-a-kind bouquet handcrafted by an artisan florist on a high street near you.